Personal monitoring systems, or PSMs, are just that, personal. So as a first step, it's critical to choose the system that works best for you. Since it can often be a significant investment, you need to consider your current as well as your future needs. PSMs come in two varieties, wireless and hardwired. A hardwired system consists of a body pack, which can be directly connected to the monitor sends. This requires the performer to be tethered to one location and is a good choice for stationary performers such as a drummer or keyboard player. Wired PSMs are not as technically complex or as expensive as their wireless counterparts. You get all the benefits of a wireless system without adding additional frequencies to manage. Wireless PSMs use RF technology to transmit the monitor mix wirelessly from a transmitter to a belt pack receiver. This allows the performer to move freely about the stage. Once you've determined whether you're using a wired or wireless system, the next question to ask is how many individual mixes you need. This is determined by the number of members in the band and whether or not those band members can share mixes. Typically, each separate mix requires its own dedicated transmitter, but multiple receivers can be used with a single transmitter so that people using the same mix can share a transmitter. Most PSMs can transmit in mono or stereo. Monitoring in stereo can provide a more realistic sound, but quickly takes up monitor sends, so it might not be ideal for bands with many mixes or a small monitor mixer. Some stereo monitoring systems can operate in a dual mono mode, which provides two mono mixes instead of one stereo from a single transmitter. This can come in handy if you're trying to save money or rack space and everyone is satisfied with the mono mix. There are several different ways to set up and configure your PSM. The easiest and most cost-effective option is to utilize the auxiliary monitor sends on the front of house console. Unfortunately, these consoles offer a limited number of mixes and those are not always all available for monitors. If you absolutely require more than a couple of mixes, you might consider investing in a separate mixer just for your PSMs. We'll discuss system setup and configuration more in part four of this video series. Once you've answered all these questions, you'll be able to determine the exact quantities of all the components you'll need. If you're going to use mono mode, the number of transmitters, mixes, and aux sends are all the same. You will also need one receiver and one pair of earphones for every performer. So for four mixes with four performers, you need four transmitters, four aux sends, and four receivers with earphones. If you're going to monitor in stereo, the number of transmitters you need is equal to the number of mixes you want. The number of aux sends is equal to two times the amount of transmitters you have, with a receiver and earphone, of course, for each performer. For example, if you want four stereo mixes for four performers, you would need four transmitters, eight aux sends, and four receivers with earphones. If you are taking advantage of a system that is capable of dual mono mode, or mix mode, the number of transmitters required is half that of the number of desired mixes. The number of aux sends is twice that of the number of transmitters, and once again, you'll need one receiver and pair of earphones for each performer. So in our example of four mixes for four performers, you would need two transmitters, four aux sends, and four receivers with earphones. In the next video, we'll discuss earphones and safe listening practices for personal monitoring systems.